So as the news spreads about the death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg and as the fallout continues and the um and people uh reacting and arguing about the consequences of this, Mitch McConnell has made a statement. <laughs> And it says President Trump's nominee will receive a full vote on the uh, Senate, the United States Senate, the floor of the United States Senate, excuse me. Um, He released a full statement and this is the end of the statement. Now, if you don't remember back in uh, 2015, I believe, after Justice Scalia died, um, President Obama appointed... um, Merrick Garland, and that was the nominee for the Supreme Court. And Mitch McConnell and others, the other Republicans blocked it. Like they said, we don't want to put it through. And the reasoning was we are a year from the election. I think it was like a year and a half away from the election. And they said, we can't do it. We'll let the American people decide. The um, We'll let the American people decide when the next president is chosen. And Obama just, I get, I don't, even, I don't remember what happened after that. I think he like just bagged down. He, I mean, he couldn't really do anything because they didn't have the Democrats had no power because of the midterms. So now, now that they're in power, Mitch McConnell said this a few months ago. He said, if "There's if a, a opening comes up, we'll put, we'll put it through. We'll send them through." He's been ramming through judges <laughs> like. I don't even know what you could even prepare it to. He's just been ramming through judges. I just saw a report from a day ago that said he put through like 30 judges in, in a matter of like hours or something like that, or in a matter of days, something like that. They're doing all this on judges when the American people need stimulus relief right now. There's a pandemic. People are un- have lost their health insurance, have lost their jobs. Um, the, uh, there's an eviction crisis, and they're just doing nothing but ramming through judges. They're quick. They're so quick to do political things like this with with judges or whatnot. That's pretty. That's pretty much Mitch McConnell's job is to be is to put through judges. <laughs> but they're so quick to do all this. But when it comes to relief for the people, this is not just a Republican thing or this is a both party thing. The establishment of both parties. This is the problem with them. They completely, completely just. They just neglect the American people. They neglect them. And that's not even an overstatement because they they sit there on their hands all day (laughs) because of things that are politically convenient to be politically convenient. And, and, And you see how the quickness, the quickness of this, he said, we'll put them through quickly. And they said he might put it through this fall if Trump appoints somebody right now. Ted Cruz is trending on Twitter right now, I think. Let let me go back and look. Let me me just look at this. Let me just look. Trending. Let's go to the trending. RBG, Supreme Court, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, SCOTUS, RPRPG, Senate, uh, Senate, uh, Merrick Garland, which was the nominee (laughs) that Obama put through, or Obama appointed. Um, Notorious RBG. She is taking up the trending page, man. And because people are, are, the fallout from this is, big there he is ted cruz ted cruz is trending because he was on the list of potential trump appointees to the supreme court now <clears throat> this is this, um, this whole thing is a curveball in the election okay this whole thing is a curveball in the election because the courts were a pretty big deal last time around but this time around it was like they weren't even near the in the top 10 list of issues anymore and Trump just like a few days ago, he j- he released his list of potential um, uh, SCOTUS nominations or nominees and Ted Cruz, uh, you see Ted Cruz, Tom Cotton and Josh Hawley were uh, among the ones that were on there. And the like it, it didn't really get as much attention, you know, I mean, it, people kind of made jokes about it and it, it just wasn't people. It wasn't a big deal, really. And now this has completely shifted the race. And in what way? I don't really, honestly, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think that um, if he puts it through before the election, if he tries, if they try to just ram it through in the next two or three weeks, then I don't think that it will have the 
a helping effect on Trump that it may because he may be thinking like, hey, if I just hold this off till after the election, I can use this as a strategy like, uh, hey, elect me and I'll get a, a Supreme Court nominee through. But if you if you get rid of me, then I can't do that. But that doesn't make any sense because he could just literally just put them through right now. I mean, even if he did lose the election, he'd still be president until January 20th of next year. So he could still easily put through another nominee in that time period. But um, I don't know how what his thinking is right now. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it, it's uh, it, it's 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 wild. The, this whole I'm so exhausted now that I just the fallout from this, it, the political fights that are going on right now. I just I can't, I'm tired. I'm just so tired now. And I pointing out Mitch McConnell's hypocrisy is not going to really hurt him or do anything to him because he knows what he's doing the republicans played the long game back in in 2013 14 they played the long game and um i think that's something that the democrats can learn is to learn to play the long game because they they're not playing the long game right now they they play the what's going on right now how can we win right now game but you see they were planning this from the moment obama got elected they've been planning this <laughs> so they have been prepared for this but um yeah that that's what mitch is gonna do he's gonna apparently he's gonna send him through like he said uh who will be the nominee i have no idea if if trump even does it like if he even if he even attempts to nominate somebody right now i have no idea but um yeah what do you guys think about this let me know in the comment section be sure to like comment subscribe subscribe like comment comment subscribe like whenever do it how you do it where you do it just do it it's your boy red x black and i'm out peace